if you have an oily skin and you live in certain hot regions of the world like lagos nigeria for example here's how to get your makeup to last for 10 hours and longer without your makeup separating and gliding off in this tutorial i'm going to be sharing with you my sweat proof oil proof makeup routine that can enable your makeup to last the entire day so if you're interested let's head right into the video so the first thing that you cannot afford to miss in order to get a long lasting sweat proof makeup is your skin prep and they want to see a detailed skin prep for makeup using very affordable products found here in lagos nigeria then i highly suggest that you check the pinned comment and also check the description box because i have a video linked right there just for you whether you're going in with makeup or you're not going with makeup one thing that you cannot afford to skip your daily routine is applying moisturizer moisturizer goes a long way in your skin in your makeup and when you have an oily acne prone skin you want to lean towards moisturizers that have this watery fluid like texture and the one i personally use is a simple hydrating light moisturizer and for someone that has a very very sensitive skin this product right here has not done any harm to my skin at all for days where i'm not using the simple light moisturizer i go in with the omari code hydrate moisture maximizer and as you can see i'm almost out of this guy because i have used this guy to the very last drop but i'm trying to manage this guy okay because it's quite scarce right now so on normal days i just go in with the simple light moisturizer so make use of a moisturizer you need something that hydrates your skin without being so heavy because if it's so heavy it's going to end up clogging your pores and then provoke your pores to create even more oil than it needs to be. you want to apply a very generous amount of this moisturizer because it just helps to hydrate your skin as you can see it gives me this hydrating glowy look and feel is not mattifying in any way because i know that if you have an oily based skin you are much more tempted to go in with product that will make your face have this smart feeling but when it comes to your skincare you want to stick with products that are meant for oily skin types and that tip that i need to mention is that when going in with your products really your skincare products you need to let them sit on your face for about one to two minutes before you go in with the next product this is very important because it allows your product to get into your skin and you're not just piling things on top of each other so if once i apply this moisturizer i'm going to let it sit on my face for like one to two minutes but if you're in a hurry you can go ahead with your fans to clean up the process for you okay so next on the list is primer and when it comes to primer primer is one of the things that you need to really consider and take notes of if you have an oily skin and especially if you have an oily acne prone skin because primers are the things that serve as a barrier between your makeup and your skin so you don't apply a primer that's not meant for your skin type and then end up with breakouts and acne after your makeup when purchasing a primer if you have an oily skin type you need to go for a primer that's not too drying or too mattifying like i said earlier on for your primers and your skincare products here yeah, you are tempted to go in with things that give this mattifying drying look and in the past i have made these of primers that quote and unquote were giving me that mattifying feel i mean they sell it to you like okay you have an oily skin one going for something like very very matte to make your skin dry but then that happens is the reverse so if you something that's very very drying and mattifying your pores get that signal like okay a lot a lot a lot what's going on let's bring out more oils to ensure that okay things are as they should so you now go in with very much fine primers and by your skin is producing more oil than normally it does so this primer i'm about to show you is a primer that i haven't seen on the internet at all and for someone that books a lot of makeup products i haven't seen this guy across in any store at all before last christmas so we have this christmas fair in lagos nigeria i was actually going for the elf primer but they didn't have it and i was told that this is a very perfect dupe for the elf primer so this is the cpd bang grip hydro primer i must testify that before i started using this primer i never really had any primer that sold it for me like the hydro milk or the elf so that's why i was going for what i was very familiar with but when i got onto with this guy this guy gave me that same feel that same experience for a cheaper affordable price and this is the consistency guys so with this guy you want to apply it very generously across your face and as you can see my face is not matte 
it's not dry my face is still having that hydrating feeling like the elf primer and the hydro milk primer it gives this sticky feeling so this is how the barrier between my skin and a foundation and this is very very important to note if you have an acne prone skin because this just creates a barrier between your skin and the makeup they are going to apply so this is like a protection layer so if you really want to get that hydro milk primer or the earth primer feel but you cannot get it in Lagos Nigeria because I know that it's very very expensive and most times they are even more scarce than even expensive when you have the money to even buy it it's not available so you can get onto this CPD champion creation bang grip hydro primer and trust me it has not filled me yet applying setting spray onto my skin on my face before going in on my foundation and this is a little bit controversial because i've heard a lot of gist about it on social media because a lot of people have different opinions to this but when it comes to me i have tried a lot of techniques i have tried one that deals with you applying um powder setting powder for your foundation i have tried the fixing spray but what seemed to work for me i do not know if it's this product but i have seen and tried that applying this actual product this is so pro cosmetics hydra mist setting spray and if you're conversant with the makeup industry you notice that in the past eight months the soap pro cosmetics have been doing a lot of changes in our makeup game okay so i grabbed this guy because i mean i had to try it for myself so applying it onto my face so the setting spray also creates a barrier between your skin and your foundation before i got onto this product here i have tried everything and anything to ensure that i still have that dewy finish okay i'm very complicated i have an oily skin but yet i still like that dewy finish and we'll turn that an oily skin whether you like it or not no matter how mattified your makeup looks you still end up with a dewy finish but the thing is that going with mattifying primers mattifying moisturizers i ended up producing more oils that I normally would put on normal day so I need to know what I need to do to get rid of that so I've tried applying translucent powders for my foundation that didn't work for me I have tried applying setting sprays after my makeup I just became more oilier and I had like an oily finish of my skin and and I had to keep going in with blooding papers and powder and I did not like the stress okay so I found that when I got this guy I was able to keep that dewy look i wanted i have to keep my oils in check this is not an actual makeup video okay i focus on the base so i'm going to go off camera and get my brows done then i'll come back and show you guys the rest of the video another thing that gives girls a little headache after understanding our base makeup is the eye okay the eyes are the next complicated part of our makeup that gives a lot of us headache all the blending the eyeliner the colors the everything that goes on with the eyes are very complicated so if you have an oily skin there's every tendency that your hoods are creating oils and i say hoods when you have this extra layer of skin on your eyelids they can produce oils as you go on in the day and that's why i want to lay your hand on an eye primer eye primers help to control those oils that might be produced within those who this extra skin you have around your eye and helps to keep your eyeshadow long lasting for the entire day so if you are looking into getting an eye primer so we have the mac 24 hours extend eye primer this one does not have a color so it works on different skin colors and it will start affecting your eyeshadow color in the long run we also have the abh eye primer we have the p lewis eye primer this one is very popular but it does have a color attached to it so you can get a shade that is close to your skin tone and it will do wonders for your eye makeup and the one that is popularly known here in nigeria that is owned by nigerian beauty brand is yanga beauty eye insurance eyeshadow primer this primer works wonders but if you do not want to go ahead and add another product to your already humongous makeup collection you can make use of a lightweight concealer i make use of a lightweight concealer onto my eyelids and it does wonders but with the concealer you want to top it up with a certain powder to help to lock and seal that concealer in areas where you have the lines on your eyelids so i have some fine lines on my eyelids okay so if i apply the concealer alone after a while i'll see that i'm already having my concealer settled into those lines that form on my eyelids and it's going to mess up my entire eye makeup so you want to go in with a setting powder to seal the concealer like how you go in setting powder sealing underneath your eyes so i'm going to go off camera once again i get my eye makeup done then i'll come back and meet you guys okay now that we are done with eye makeup onto the foundation which i'm pretty sure most of you could not wait for me to get into the foundation i make use of is the nuban beauty 
in my skin foundation this foundation is a hydrating foundation and it does wonders for me i can literally swear by this foundation i have done a review on this foundation the first time i tried it i'm going to leave the review up here in the cards and also below in the description so that you can see my first time reaction to using this guy since then i have not been able to switch so if you're in nigeria and you're looking for a foundation that just does it for you and it's still on the affordable side of things you guys key notes on affordable side of things because i mean i love makeup but sometimes i don't break my pocket you guess so if you want an affordable foundation that can give you long lasting makeup and still give you the dewy natural glam look they are looking for and very very easy to apply then she got the new one beauty in my skin foundation i have made my mom my auntie get onto these guys and they swear by it every single time you have the makeup on so if you're in nigeria and you cannot afford the nice foundation this is like what 50k now i want something that gives you almost similar easy everyday glam look then she got the new one beauty in my skin foundation so making this foundation just two pumps is just what does it for me okay because it has this it's very it's very very kind of hard to explain because it gives me the coverage that i want to get but at the same time it still feels very very light so i like to use a powder brush to just go in at the outer perimeter of my face then go in with a dense brush so i start off with the outer perimeter of my face just because i have noticed that i produce more oils around my t-zone and my t-zone are above my eyebrows little bit on my forehead my nose bridge and right underneath my eye above my cheekbones just here where it's popping okay so that's why if i go in with foundation right in from the beginning i'm giving that area more things to damage more things to ruin more oils to produce there after i apply everything i need to apply on the outer perimeter of my face then go in with whatever is left in my brush into those areas i'm giving it little things to destroy if that makes sense so you want to go in with whatever is left on your brush and apply it onto this area so just blend everything properly but never dive it straight with your foundation into the areas where it produces more oils okay so when it comes to concealer what i make is up is the nubam beauty in my skin concealer i like concealer because of it's very lightweight and it does not dry up underneath my eye whenever i apply it if you don't have access to this guy you can also get the two face bonds with concealer that also does wonders underneath your eye so applying it into areas where i have major discoloration if you have like super super duper hyperpigmentation i suggest that you go in with color corrector before applying your concealer so i'm applying it just like this in this area because that's where i want to get the brightening effect underneath my eye and apply it on my nose very little like i said want to keep things here minimal and then down here as well so right after i apply my concealer i'm blending out properly you want to go in with your setting powder this is the benign luxury powder you can go in any powder i like this powder because it has that yellow undertone that i love to give underneath my eye so i make it a my techniques brush in 402 to just set under my eye but before i set under my eye because i knew that it was been a minute since i blended under my eye so i go in the same size to blend my concealer and then i then tap the powder brush into my powder and then tap the excess behind my palm and then I apply because you don't apply it directly onto underneath your eye because it just makes your eye have that cakey unblended flashback that you hate having you're taking pictures and what you're doing is you want to try to avoid blinking or squinting your eye because that way if you move your eye you see the the lines that you just try to eliminate now be formed again so you want to keep your eye in that same scary position and try not to move your eyes you guys come a little bit closer you see that i'm already having those lines there on this eye that i have not blended and you see that the lines are formed because when i talk when i move my eye and when i blink and do stuff like that there are lines that tend to appear underneath my eye okay? because that's already entered into the line making me have these lines that form under your eye okay? and we do not want that i mix up the newborn beauty mineral finishing powder in the shade 04 so can you see the difference now that i've applied the powder on this side and now that i did apply it on the side can you guys see the difference this powder just helps to 
lock everything in for me and basically just make it look like it's just one glam and like there's no separation anywhere like you can't even see where my contour started from my brush started from everything just sticks into it and that's why i just love it so much so this is the newborn beauty mineral finishing powder and this powder is generally targeted at people that have oily skin as you see when i'm applying it it just helps to locking everything i applied on my face and just basically have just one natural blend there's no separation it still gives me this natural glow and just makes my makeup look like it's just one there's no separation you can't see where i applied my blush where i applied my contour everything just seems to be one glow and one natural glam so now that we're done with this just for a little bit of touch i go in with my setting powder and my powder brush again and tap onto it just like the extras as always and then go into my areas where i have my pores really really active for me that is my t-zone area my forehead my nose bridge and my cheekbones and just pressing these guys into my skin so that it just acts as a safety net and also if your eyebrows tend to sweat sometimes you want to go in with your eyebrow now if you have tons of questions on how i created this beautiful hot chocolate makeup look then i highly recommend that you watch this video next where i break down step by step how i'm able to create this lovely soft glam hot chocolate brown everyday makeup look so thank you for watching this video up until now i'll see you guys in this next video